All right, you guys, welcome back. So in the last video, I was working on them filler panels for their rear wheel tubs, and I'm gonna do that again today on the driver's side. The passenger side one is in there. It's not the prettiest, but you know, it's gonna have to be like body worked so that it looks good. Um, the pass or the driver one's just kicking my butt. I can't get seem to get the lines to line up like I want them. So let me show you. So, you know, the factory's got this step and I don't know, I got I need to probably remake that one. That one's all screwed up. This one is in and the lines match up, so I need to do the same. Got a lot of grinding to do and fitting and gonna have to have some body work done. So that that looks presentable but the goal today uh, i got a birthday party to go to later but the goal today is to get this driver one all tacked in like the passenger one is and then i'm gonna throw the wheels on this thing let it sit on the ground and um, maybe push it out in the sun so uh, i'm gonna get cranking it's saturday the 12th of november so i'm gonna get cranking on this bad boy and then i think let me go let me know what you guys think in the comments so we talked about the axle and i was having some conversations with somebody and their suggestion was uh, if the axles aren't hitting in the rear end meaning they're too close and touching inside the spool which they are not their suggestion was to take like a grinder a da like a, a death wheel and rather than sending this back to quick Basically, we're saying just at these very ends, just, um, you know, this thing next down, like I told you, just basically take and cut with that thing all the way around so that this will push all the way inside to the to the spool. And, yeah, so what if it's got that much um, engagement into the spool? That's not going to hurt anything. So let me know what you guys think. That's kind of ghetto rigging stuff, but... It would save me some money and I don't really think it will affect anything because neither one of the axles are gonna hit. In fact, I took some spray paint on the uh, shorter axle that goes in, the driver axle, and I'll show you. That is how much spline engagement there is. So well over an inch, which is what Strange wants, and at least an inch. So I might just do that and push that axle in there and call it good and not, not worry about it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments though. All right, you guys, I had to do some cleaning up, but I have messed with this uh, wheelhouse. And let me show you the problem that I'm having here. So as you can see this side here, I got this where it's basically touching where I have cut this out. And this side, I'm having a hard time basically pulling this thing back to where all this is gonna touch. now. This is the most critical part because this is where the tire was hitting. So I need to get this sucker back so that I can not only tack right here, but make sure that the wheel's not gonna hit. The other problem I have is trying to get this thing to, basically I'm gonna weld, tack weld here to this frame, but when I make this panel, it's gonna come up. It's gonna come basically up and over the anti-roll bar. So, you won't even see any of this once this other panel is made that goes down and connects up there. So I'm, I'm going to have to get like a ratchet strap or something and try to get this whole thing to just come back a little bit and down so I can tack it. So while I do that, uh, well, I was going to put you on a time lapse, but I'll just let you watch me struggle.
So as you can see that this spinner over here just whipping my butt, but I'm gonna get the car up in the air, put you guys on a time lapse, and I'm gonna get the rest of everything uh, tacked in. And like I say, probably gonna need a fair amount of body work to make this look right back here, but that's all good. All right, that does all the tack in for that to be in. I'm about to lower the car down. Uh, I think first though, I'm gonna put the wheels back on the car and set the car down and then we'll look at the wheel clearance uh, once the car is down. Those freaking wheels are hard to get on, man. I think when this car like is finally together, I, this thing has the screw-in studs, five eighths, and it looks like before they ran from the back. But I'm gonna see if somebody makes one that I know they screw in from the front, but something that's got like an Allen key, and maybe I can like get the wheel up in there and then screw the freaking studs in because it's a pain in the butt to get it all over everything. And then once the brake drum is in there, or the brake uh, rotor and all that stuff, it's gonna be even harder. But man, this damn thing looks really good with these big ass tires um, with a little bit deeper uh, offset and uh, no clearance issues whatsoever. Thank you. 
wow so much easier to get this thing maneuvered around when you can actually move it like it rolls but man, it looks so good um flip the camera around and show you like i say these wheel tubs are going to require a lot of body work to make to have them look you know perfect or close to but that's okay it's a race car so obviously more filler panels there there but the dang things are in and the car rolls so much clearance dang it looks so good i cannot wait to drive this bitch i just cannot wait slowly but surely peeps we're getting there slowly but surely this looks really good man small block forward baby i didn't realize how low my uh block things from motion raceworks hang down i may have to pick those up before i push the car back in i can see me hitting that right there and messing those up but that's what we look like car looks so good outside i'm excited you guys i sure do love the fox body mustangs but man that car right there is just sex to me so we'll pick back up i may work on the car tomorrow sunday i took sunday off we're gonna go get firewood so if i have time um, i may start making filler panels when i get home tomorrow night but i don't know we'll see i mean obviously you guys will see in the video but um, i'm just glad that we got that driver's side figured out um, the car rolls now um, that way i can roll this bad way up to the front garage while we work on the uh, volkswagen bug for my parents and uh, i'll catch up with you in a day or so or tomorrow hopefully hopefully we go get firewood fast um and i've got a little more time to mess with it here we are going through the tatchby mountains i got up early sunday morning picked up caleb and then tim and colt and we headed to delano to get some firewood We're here getting firewood in Delano. Yearly firewood trip. So Tim just had shoulder surgery and he couldn't help out. It was uh, Colt, Caleb, myself, and Francisco who we get the wood from. And we took three cords of wood from him. After loading wood, we stopped at a local store, grabbed a few cervezas, 
And then we headed over to Taco Loco, which is the place that we usually stop at and have lunch. And I gotta say, on that day, it hit the spot. Once we got into the town, we took Wood over to my father and took Wood over to Colts. And then Caleb and I came back to the old casa and unloaded the rest of the wood in the backyard. And it's still stacked. Right, you guys as you can see it's been a long day and got zero time to work on the falcon i left here like a little over 12 hours ago to go pick up caleb and everybody go to bakersfield get wood so um not gonna work on the falcon tonight i am beat i'm gonna go and watch yellowstone with the wife and uh i think that's gonna do it for this video um flip the camera around I'll show you the wheel tubs and we'll catch up on the next video.